So hello everyone and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 1. Last time we got the Rat's Tail from the Citadel of Trials. And now with this Rat's Tail we can go somewhere and turn it in. But first we're going to have to go back there which is going to take a really long time because we're going to have to backtrack for all of this. So, so that you don't fall asleep I'm just going to do this. And I actually got poisoned by something. Isn't that something? Poisonous. This is probably the game where poison is actually the worst because it's so hard to get rid of it. Because sleeping in... At, in, at an inn doesn't actually get rid of it, believe it or not, which is totally stupid because it's like the only game where that's the case, unless it's the case in Final Fantasy 2 as well, which I don't actually think it is, but yeah. Also, poison can be really annoying in a fight. On the world map it doesn't really matter too much, but on the uh, in a fight can get fairly annoying because there's so many encounters and with so many encounters poison takes quite a lot, so that <sighs> it's just really annoying. At least we got some antidotes. I think one of my guys got poison now as well. Yeah, so that's not too big of a deal at least. I mean, in pretty much none of the Final Fantasies is poison actually really bad, but in this one it's probably the most annoying, I'd say. Because you pretty much have to take care of it right away. Instead of being like, ah, whatever, I can go just go to the next town and take care of it there. But, yeah. So this is the Dragon Cave. Which it got some nice stuff in it. I don't know. No, it actually, it doesn't have some nice stuff. None of the cases in this game actually have nice stuff in it. They just have just a little bit of money, which is pretty insignificant because you only get so little of it. So whatever. Anyway, there's dragons, and they're actually good dragons. They're actually like really friendly dragons because this is a friendly dragon cave. You wouldn't have you of all the places in this game that you would have expected to be friendly. You didn't think it would be the Dragon Cave, don't you think? Actually, where the fuck am I going? Is this the right entrance? It is the right entrance. Where is the next part? I'm blind. I'm totally blind. Uh, hold on a second. I need to look something up because what the fuck is going on? I don't think there's multiple entrances to this dungeon, but I think there is something you can do here. Something specific. Actually, the thing should be somewhere around here. Actually, never mind. Let me let me check this. Yeah, there are multiple entrances. I'm an idiot. I don't even know why I safe stayed over here. We could, you can talk to some dragons here, but I guess they don't really say anything. Not that any NPCs in this game really say anything that's too important. And I wonder if we can actually land here. Oh, we can. Wait. Quite sure which one of these is the real one. This is not the right one. This is Hellfire Castle. That's definitely not the right one. There we go, Dragon Caves. Let's see if there's more treasure in here. Since there's no fights or anything, and these guys just say stupid stuff, I guess we can just run around be very bored. Very bored indeed. Yeah, you also wouldn't have you also wouldn't have expected that one of the most boring places in the game is also called the Dragon Caves. They also the, they want they have the one of the most friendly and most boring places in the game, the Dragon Caves. Yeah, that's something went wrong in the naming of this place. Or the stuff that's in it, I don't even know. Oh my god, there's nothing in here either. I actually should have tested this beforehand. Ah whatever. Bunk, and there we go. At least this is something more in interesting. You see all these swords thrust in the ground. You've got the big fucking dragon god. He's just the king, I think. He's Bahamut. You also see in some other fun fantasies, isn't that? Him? And he's like, oh, you got a rat's tail. There's a bunch of rat's tails because there's a tons of rats. There's actually millions of them, but this one is special. So, you get an upgrade in your status. I didn't actually know it was going to be that sound, I just assumed it was. <laughs> so now we have a Knight, Master, Red Wizard and Black Wizard. Uh, I think that's about it. Can this guy actually... No? 
He still can't equip the staff. I think he might actually still be able to use it from the inventory, so I shouldn't be too sad about that. Because if he can still use it from the inventory, then it's totally fine if he can't equip it. So he, this staff cast seal, which I think is the group heal, which is really nice. Group heal. So we also can use some more uh, magic stuff, but I don't actually think I'm going to need to do that right now. I'm just going to go to some place. Um, if I can find something. Yeah, let's just take this one. Heal up a little bit. Provoca. Yeah, heal me up, dude. How much money do I have? 160,000. I might be able to buy some of that stuff in that one town. Where am I going? I'm going over here. Yeah, because there was some good defensive items to be bought here, somewhere, there. They just cost a ton. This ruby armlet. I'm gonna buy two of these. It costs 80,000, which is like... I only have twice that much. But it's actually really good. Oh, not that one. There we go. You see that? More of, way more evasion and way more defense compared to what stuff usually gives. And now we can sell some of that stuff here. I, did, I still can't believe they actually give you Mega Elixirs. Regular Elixirs. Regular Elixirs. Yeah, as well. So now we're pretty much decked out on good shit. Like, really good shit. But we want to get more good shit, don't we? We can get Warp, which is pretty much Kill, but it does it in a different way. We have Kill. Because I had Death earlier, but I think Kill is more powerful than Death. Uh, I think, I don't even know. Stops time and paralyzes all foes. Yeah, we don't actually care about any of these, because any, none of these are actually good. All, all These are only for White Wizards, so we're actually really sad about that. But maybe we could take some level 7. No, we can't even take level 7, because these only have level 6. Okay, okay, we're gonna take some good shit, maybe some other day, but I think this guy can actually get the Cat's Claws now. So can the other guy over there, but... But it's it's actually not that good. Is it? No, it's actually terrible. Actually, no, it's actually it's, it's actually good. It's actually good. I'm not even kidding, it's actually good. Better than Mithril Knife. It's way better than Mithril Knife. Now we can uh, have this guy... Wait, I didn't actually equip it, did I? Now I can actually go ahead and fight some random guys on the overworld without having to worry too much about my black mage doing no fucking damage. But that's pretty much about it. It's just for regular enemies on the overworld that I don't really want to waste anything on. So now we're gonna go all the way south, which is gonna take quite a while. We've got speed up. And we're gonna try and fight this place right here. That was way too far south. Which I mean one tile far too south. And we're in Mount Golg. This place is gonna take a while. It's pretty big. It's got some interesting stuff. It's got fucking lava on the ground. It's got monsters. Well, please, it's got monsters. Why the fuck wouldn't it have monsters? But now all my guys can... But with all these new weapons and drop upgrades... The thing is, you can get to this place fairly quickly after... The last orb, the Earth orb. Meaning that, theoretically, you can get here by a time where you're way weaker. But since we got all the since we got the class change side quest, we're actually doing pretty well for ourselves. But the thing is, obviously, I was gonna get the class change anyway. So yeah, so I don't worry too much about that. Where am I right now? I don't know where I am. Cause I expect it to be somewhere else. I have no idea where I am. Oh, I think I know where I am. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out a good way to walk through this, because as you can see, there's lava on the ground. And I actually took a few steps without looking at the screens, meaning that maybe I even took some more damage than I wanted to. So the steps on the ground, they don't hurt too much. You can see, like, my knight, 539, 538, 537, it's... It's... It's pretty much nothing. Yeah, you don't have to care about it too much. But I guess in general, I don't want to take too many steps on it, just because... Yeah, I don't like fighting too many enemies, and obviously I have to fight more enemies if I take a stupid path. So here we have more just lava everywhere. So by the way, this place is really big, if you want to actually get all the treasure, but I don't really care too much about treasure. Because most of the treasure, as always, is just fucking money that I don't care about. Like, I don't really care about money. 
so I'm trying to figure out where I'm going on this floor. Uh, am I floor 5? Can I check that? No, I'm B3. Actually, I need screen capture. Uh, oh, I know where I am. Uh, let me go down here. Uh, no, that's... No, that should be good. I... Gonna end with my fire hydrant. And he's dead. Yeah, if you get here after class change, it's just, it's really good. But the thing is, if you do this and then class change afterwards, then the class change quest itself is pretty much nothing. So, yeah, it does, don't, it, depending on what order you do this in, some, one of this is just gonna be pretty trivial. And some of this stuff directly after this is gonna be a little bit trivial as well, but not too much. This guy should die fast. Yeah. Why did I not actually open the chest? I might have to fight this guy again now. But whatever. Gold needles. I don't need gold needles. Where am I? I don't even know where the fuck I am. I think I'm down there. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going random places. Red Rock. He's dead. Yeah, I, f I can't say- I, I said this often enough, but the balancing in this game is absolutely terrible. And since they had the ability to do a remake, and um, they could have fixed some of the balancing, but they only really decided to get the graphics up to speed, so they didn't actually fix any of that. So, oh, whatever. They didn't actually fix the balancing. As you can see, that pretty much every single one of these fights, I can just have everyone melee attack, and they just die. None of my guys take too much damage, and even if they do take some damage, there we go. Now nothing happened. It's it's really simple. So where the fuck am I now? I just went backwards, didn't I? Yeah. What the fuck am I doing? I'm not even paying attention right now. I actually want to go... Where the fuck do I want to go? Was I on the right spot before? No, I want to go down there. Ah, don't worry guys, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. We're going over here, now we're good. B5, that's exactly where we want to be. As soon as B5 pops up, you know you're in for some good shit. Because we're getting close to the end. Hopefully that didn't take so long. I didn't actually look at the timer for my power, so I don't actually know how far I'm in. So, coming up is a boss, and that boss is extremely easy, as pretty much any other boss in this game. Even the ones that have a ton of health are still really fucking easy. Uh, so I don't even have to save, I'm just gonna do a save state in front of this, and if I fail, I'm just gonna go list this save state. So coming up is the next big boss. They said, what's his name? I think it's Mar... 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 Now, I think you said it before, but I I skipped over it. Marilyn, yeah, that's exactly what I want to say before. So we're just gonna cast some haste on our good guys, as always, or rather on our uh, knight, because I think knight benefits most from it because the other guy already has a ton of speed already. And this guy. I don't think this guy actually has any specific weaknesses. You might think since he's a fire guy, he might be weak to ice or something, but he's not actually weak to ice. I don't think he's weak to anything. So you just use a powerful spell and that's about it. Good good thing this actually went first with uh, haste and he actually crit as well, so we took a, he took a shit ton of damage there. However, we took a shit ton of damage as well. So I'd be thinking, oh, this guy does a ton of aerial damage and He's not actually dead after one turn, isn't that something? This guy might actually be powerful. Well, he is kind of powerful. Yeah, I got him that, he is kind of powerful. But he's not, not actually that, not, not, not that powerful, I think. Yeah, because the thing is, if he does something, if he does that, then he just forfeits pretty much fucking anything, and now we should be able to just kill him without healing again. Oh, we're critting pretty nicely here. You should be actually about dead. That that's about it. I think you should be about dead right here. Oh, he's still alive. Hanging in there. That should probably be it then. And he just wasted another turn. Not that he would have been able to do anything. Oh wow, that guy does no damage. But apparently 20 in a on a guy that has like 1500 HP, apparently 23 damage is enough to get the last hit. So good job, but really good. By the way, by the time of um, uh, recording this video, no one has ever actually mentioned in the comments before what all four names of my characters are references to. Maybe it's too simple. I don't know. But you can still get some imaginary internet points by doing that. By right, writing in the comments what my four character names are references to. Anyway. 
We unlocked some more stuff, but I don't think it's actually too important to do anything in these places, so I don't really care. We actually seen the Elfire Chasm before, so we could go there, and there's like a special dungeon behind there that has some extra loot, but like I said, I don't think it's actually t anything too important. I might do it in between parts anyway, or might show you, I don't know. I don't know. I'm fickle. I'm just like that. Um, yeah, that master guy took a ton of damage. So yeah, my names are Leon, Strife, Bot, Semtina. I don't know what these are references to. So we're done with the fire crystal and the next two crystals are gonna be really quick. There's not actually that much left in this game. I'd say we're about 60% through this game. I think. I'm not actually quite sure on that, but I think that's pretty much how we're doing right now. Uh, Crossing Lake, heal, and we're done with this part. See you guys next time.